Samsung seems ready to end Apple's long streak of being first with new chip technology. For years, iPhones were the first to launch with the newest and most advanced chipsets, from 7M in 2018 to 3M in 2023. But things are changing fast, and the upcoming Galaxy S26 series could finally be the one to break that streak. The story begins with Samsung Foundry's struggle back in 2022, when Qualcomm chose Samsung to produce the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. The results weren't great. Samsung's yield rate was only around 35%. In simple terms, that means only about one-third of the chips produced were usable, which made the process expensive and unreliable. Qualcomm quickly switched to TSMC for its future flagship chips, starting with the Snapdragon 8 Tuzja Gen 1, which delivered much better performance and efficiency thanks to higher yields. But now, Samsung Foundry is making a comeback. According to reports, Samsung has significantly improved its chip manufacturing process. The company is already working on a 7M process, which could soon power some of the most powerful smartphones in the world. Qualcomm is rumored to be collaborating with Samsung again, this time to produce a special, for Galaxy, variant of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 chipset. This new chip could be manufactured using Samsung's advanced 7M process node, known internally as SF2. That means Samsung might finally be ready to handle large, scale chip production at a level that can compete with TSMC. Initially, this chipset was expected to power the upcoming Galaxy S26 series, but more recent reports suggest it might first appear in the Galaxy Z Flip 8. Even so, the possibility of Samsung building such a cutting, edge chip opens up exciting potential for the Galaxy S26 lineup. For those unfamiliar with the for Galaxy label, these versions are custom, made Snapdragon processors optimized and overclocked for Samsung's flagship phones. They generally deliver slightly better performance and faster graphics than the standard versions. If Samsung manages to produce the Singim for Galaxy, variant successfully. The S26 series could feature one of the most powerful and efficient chips ever made. This development could finally break Apple's long, running lead in chip technology. Apple's iPhones were the first to debus chips in 2018, Fine MM in 2020, and Third M in 2023. However, if Samsung introduces the Exynos 2600 or Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy, based on the Simonum process in 2026, it would make Samsung the first smartphone brand to reach this milestone, ahead of Apple for the first time in years. The regular Galaxy S26 and Sturzen 66 models are expected to be powered by Samsung's in-house Exynos 2600 chip in most markets, while the Galaxy S26 Ultra could feature the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 built by TSMC on a 30mm node. But what makes this lineup exciting is that both chips, the Exynos and Snapdragon, would use some of the most advanced transistor designs ever created. Samsung's gate, all around's gay transistor technology, is a major part of this transformation. Unlike older FinFET designs, which only surrounded three sides of the channel. J transistors use nanosheets that cover all four sides. This new design helps reduce energy loss and allows for better power efficiency, higher performance, and cooler operation. The result is a chip that's not only faster but also far more efficient than anything seen before. Samsung already used this GAA technology in the Exynos 2500 chip that powered the Galaxy Z Flip 7. Despite earlier yield issues, that move showed Samsung's commitment to leading the next generation of mobile processing. Now that the company has improved its manufacturing yields, it's ready to push boundaries even further with SIVIM chips. If Samsung can maintain good yield rates at Tukanemf, ideally around or above 70%, it could finally close the gap with TSMC and even surpass it in certain areas. Reports suggest that Samsung has already delivered working samples of the Sugim Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 chip to Qualcomm, which is a promising sign for the upcoming Galaxy flagships there's still a chance that Samsung will split production, with TMC handling the 3NM Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for the Galaxy S26 Ultra and Samsung Foundry building the 10M variant for the S20 600 or Galaxy Z Flip 8. Either way, 2026 is shaping up to be a groundbreaking year for Samsung, and possibly a turning point for the entire smartphone industry. If all goes as planned, the Galaxy S26 series will not just bring faster performance, better power efficiency, and improved thermal control, but it will also mark the first time a smartphone surpasses Apple's chip advancements. With this leap to Tunamem technology, Samsung could redefine what's possible for Android devices and officially take the crown in chip innovation. In short, the Galaxy S26 lineup could be remembered as the series that finally ended Apple's dominance in mobile chip technology and began a new era where Samsung leads the race for the world's most advanced smartphone processors.